Time for Homeschool with John Dostrimski and J.J. We will get to the Nets in a minute, but the Knicks dominate against OKC, getting the double-digit win, and Julius Randle put up his second triple-double of the season. He had a rough one on Thursday in the first game back after the break. How much did he need this bounce-back performance? You know, Chris, I don't know if it's necessarily that Julius Randle needed the bounce-back performance. I think the Knickerbockers as a team needed the bounce-back performance. That was humbling the other night against Giannis in the Milwaukee Bucks. That was a whooping. That was a game that made you put into perspective exactly where the Knicks are in the pecking order of the Eastern Conference. But look, if they're going to be a playoff team, this is the sort of game you got to go win. The Oklahoma City Thunder are not a great team. I know this was a road game, but to get a monster effort from Randall, monster effort from the Knicks, this is the sort of performance you need if you want to be playing basketball this year in the month of May. And it just shows how important it is to have that short-term memory. You flush out that loss, and then you show what they did here against OKC on Saturday. In the second year, guard R.J. Barrett showed out as well Saturday, a career high, 32. How impressed have you been with his ability to fill it up? Chris, I've always been an R.J. Barrett guy. Listen, I have been leading the charge now for quite a while. He could fill up the stat sheet. He's able to get to the rack, and what he's doing a really good job of recently is he is finishing around the basket. We talk about this all the time. R.J. Barrett can't even legally buy himself, you know, a, a six-pack of beer. So the fact that, you know, he's not even 21 years old should, you know, show you if you're a Knickerbocker fan that you got to preach patience with a player like this. He wasn't going to all of a sudden snap his finger and be a top 10, top 15 player in the league. And look, it will always hurt R.J. Barrett that he was in the same draft class as John Morant and the same draft class as Zion Williamson. That said, he's a hell of a player. He's made a big step forward here in his second year and a whole lot of reasons to be opti optimistic and opportunistic, maybe, for the Knicks about his game.